So I was asked by a subscriber, Herman, to make a video about kind of an insider's view of La Paz. And so what I'm gonna do in this video is show you kind of, I guess I would call it Gringo La Paz. It's the areas that I and most of the people that I am connected to go in La Paz. So the supermarkets and the hardware stores and things, the, the areas where we hang out, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the Malecon, which is where most of the tourists hang out because there's lots of videos about that on YouTube. And I'm also not going to go into those secret locations. I love sharing those secret locations on my channel, so be sure to subscribe, click the bell icon, and then the little all button to see those as they come up. This video is meant to just give you a broad overview of the areas. If you move to La Paz, what will what parts of town will you be visiting probably on a regular basis come along so this is the town square of la paz and it's right off the malecon but a lot of tourists don't even make it this far back it's got a lot of the historic buildings around it and it is in the neighborhood or maybe on the edge of the neighborhood called estorito and that's where i want to spend some time to start this video I just want to be clear that the reason that I'm not talking a lot about the Malecon is there's so many more videos, including I think I've got some videos about the Malecon. It is the place where most tourists go, but it is not just touristy. So I'm thinking like Cabo San Lucas, if you go where the tourists go, it's 90% tourists. But in La Paz, uh, it's just a different city. And so what's so great about the Malecon is it is locals, it is tourists from Mexico City, and it is some expats. And uh, it just, it's a great mix. It's a very lively place. And if you are living in La Paz, you will definitely be hanging out on the Malecon. Some of the best bars and restaurants in town are here. Being able to have dinner on the Malecon while the sun sets across the bay is wonderful. But there are a lot of other places, other really wonderful restaurants away from the Malecon, and a lot more of your time is probably spent in the other areas of La Paz. The Malecon is not just a great spot for eating and drinking, but also for recreating. So a lot of people will walk down the Malecon or rollerblade down the Malecon. There is a bike path that goes about two miles down the Malecon. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunities here. I see some folks who are out uh, stand up paddle boarding. So this is uh, a great place to recreate. A lot of folks who live in the downtown area walk their dogs here and really get outside, enjoy. And then of course there's the beach that you could just hang out at. Um, so it does go beyond the tourists, but be sure to watch some of those other videos to really dig into what you'll find on the Malecon. So this is gonna be kind of a walking, driving tour of La Paz. I don't have a lot of time to go inside places, but there are a lot of these places I have been inside and have made videos about that on this channel. So once again, be sure to subscribe. So Estorito is the neighborhood, just I guess it's northeast of the town square by a couple blocks, but that whole area there, this is the area that I consider to be the kind of the hip part of town. This is where my friends who are a little bit younger in their 30s or 40s, uh, maybe even in their 50s, some of the single people living in this area, it's much more social. Um, there's all the great restaurants. Trente dos Sabores is right behind me here. There's also La Coyota, uh, Dos Cuarenta, my favorite coffee shop is down here. So there's, it's a really great neighborhood, very walkable, just about two blocks from the Malecon and just a couple blocks from the square. But it's a very local area. They have a grocery store here in Arumboro. And uh, this is kind of the part of town that, like I said, if I didn't live out in El Centenario, uh, if I wanted to live in the more urban area, this is the part of town that I would want to live in. You'll find a lot of natural food stores here. Uh, McFisher, which has great fish tacos, uh, marinara, so a number of pokey places here. Um, yeah, lots to do in this part of town and you're right next to downtown. So uh, there's a lot of music in downtown at night. Uh, so this is kind of the hip happening place to live. As I mentioned, Estorito is right next to downtown and downtown is a very typical Mexican downtown with lots of individual shops where you can get things. I just bought a pencil sharpener this morning. Uh, but 
just it's it's a fun place to shop it is where the locals shop not necessarily just at the big box stores but it is kind of the old school i mean there's an area where all the shops are selling shoes for example or there's an area where there's uh more clothing so um downtown also not far from downtown is where you're going to find the cfe uh, which is the electric utility you'll definitely need to be visiting there i visited there about 12 times let's not talk about that Also downtown, you're going to find one of the traditional markets, the Francisco Madero Market. And this is where you'll catch the bus if you are using the local bus to get around town. And when you're downtown, if you're parking, be sure to park along a white curb or in a uh, parking lot, expect to pay between 50 cents and 75 cents per hour. At the end of the Malacone, you're gonna find this big uh, condo complex and a marina, and then the bike path heads kind of to the right while the car traffic kind of stays on Abasolo. The bike traffic takes a more local street. I know I said I wasn't gonna be sharing any secrets in this video, but there are some streets that locals just use a lot more. The uh, Abasolo, or what turns into the Malacone, it can get to be a really busy street. So there are one-way streets that are parallel. This is Revolution, which is uh, heading into downtown, and there's a number of parallel streets that are back a few streets from the Malacone, which I highly recommend using, especially like on a Sunday night when Abasolo and the Malacone get really busy. And this does give you a little chance to see uh, the condition of the roads and also kind of what more of the uh, just regular La Paz looks like. This is a very typical street in La Paz. We've got some little restaurants that have propped up along the side of the road. Depending on the time of day, you'll see more or less of that. Uh, there looks like there's a school off to the right along with a uh, church, a cathedral. And we are crossing Cinco de Febrero which is another major road across La Paz. So you'll probably use that as a landmark if you're living here too. So after you leave downtown in the Malacone and you're coming out Abasolo, um, You'll find an area with a, a number of big grocery stores. Chidrawi is one of them, very popular with uh, gringos here. And also Soriana, which is kind of one of the bigger supermarket chains in Mexico. Uh, also here you're gonna find a Pizza Hut. You will find the first of two Dairy Queens in town. Uh, a number of stores in Office Depot and a number of other smaller stores uh, and restaurants. You'll also find a Van Norte here, uh, ATM, which I think might be open 24 hours a day. It's where I love to go to get some cash. And you're gonna find another family fitness here. The neighborhood across from here uh, is called La Posada, or a lot of people call it that. Uh, there is a Hotel Posada there. Uh, and a lot of gringos live down in that area. Also, the marinas are down along the water in this area. And once you leave the Soriana and Chidrawi area, the next area you kind of get to is where all the car dealerships are. So there's a Kia and a Toyota and a VW. So a lot of people use that as a reference uh, if they live in this area or they're giving you directions to this area. And the intersection where that car dealership is Colosio, which is another important road kind of heading across La Paz. As you head a little bit further out Abasolo, 
you're going to find a big purple building and the area around there is the Fita Paz Hospital. It's a private hospital and a bunch of medical offices. So this is, I think is an area where a lot of gringos go for medical care, uh, for more serious medical care, I guess, um, because you're gonna get, be able to get Lasix here and urology and all the specialists um, that are private doctors you will find in this area. Also, you'll find a lot of nicer homes. The Fita Paz neighborhood is right here too. As you're heading out of town towards El Centenario or towards the airport, you're going to find all the big box stores in La Paz all kind of clustered together. So there's a Liverpool and a lot of people when they're referring to this area, they, they're like by the Liverpool, by the Home Depot, by the Walmart, by the Sam's Club, uh, just calling it out as one of these stores. So the Liverpool is kind of like a, a Macy's, uh, a higher end. Uh, department store but it is kind of the anchor store of a mall here that goes back you can see it's got a number of stores it has a Starbucks um, there's two Starbucks in La Paz also a movie theater and the movie theater here shows some movies that are in English with Spanish subtitles so if you are speaking if you're an English speaker or you're learning Spanish this is a great place to go catch a movie um, also a number of stores I think there's like an Apple store here like I said it's kind of a higher-end mall You'll also find a couple of casinos out here, but for the most part, people are coming here for, there's a big Soriana, a big grocery store and kind of a mall associated with that. Um, it's got an AT&T store and a couple of sm other smaller stores, a furniture store. Uh, and the Home Depot is out here. You're gonna find a Carl's Jr. And what else do we have here? There's a, a Persiana's, I think is the name of it, a, a, a cloth store. There is a wing stop, a, an auto zone, a Walmart, a Sam's Club. What else? I'm looking at the sign here and I see that there's a family fit, uh, also a Chinese buffet. So there's a number of stores here and just kind of like the typical American, big parking lots, easy in, easy out. And I want to be clear here is that because there's not that many gringos in La Paz, if you go into these stores, you will still be in the minority. Most of the people here are just Mexicans who are out doing their regular shopping. It isn't something, even though these stores are probably, many of them are based in the United States, it is not just for gringos. We tend to do more shopping here than I'd like to admit, and that's mainly because this area is between El Centenario, where I live, it's kind of a little suburb town, and downtown. So if we want to get to any of the more local grocery stores, uh, we have to go past this into town, and, and it's just, I mean, quite frankly, it's pretty easy to shop here. And there is a second movie theater over in the mall by Soriana. Uh, so I, I think there they show movies that are less often in English, more often they are dubbed into Spanish. So if you do go watch a movie, I've got a video about that. Be sure to make sure it's something that you're gonna be able to understand depending on your level of understanding of English and Spanish. You're also gonna find a Dairy Queen here. There's two, I believe, in La Paz. And over by this mall, it looks like there is maybe a bowling alley inside. I've never seen it. In the mall by Soriana, you'll also find a place where you can pay your CFE bill or your Mega Cable bill and your AT&T and I think your Telcel. So a lot of folks are coming here to pay their bills. Most of those you can pay online, but that's a relatively new thing, so a lot of folks are still doing it the old-fashioned way, uh, either talking to a person or with like an ATM machine type of thing. And a lot of the parking lots here come complete with shade, so you can park your car in the shade. Sometimes they are actually solar panels generating electricity while shading your car. And sometimes people refer to this area as the whale's tail because it is where the big arch with the whale tail or the dove, depending on which way you're looking at, of course, La Paz means the peace. One more thing before we move on, there's a Little Caesars pizza here and also where you're gonna find the Honda dealer. So once you pass the airport exit, you're going to be entering a town called Chamaitla. There's not a lot of gringos that live in Chamaitla. Uh, there's a lot of locals that live there and there are a lot of segundos. It's where the most secondhand shops are in the La Paz area. So it's one of my favorite places to shop. Even if you don't buy anything, it's rather entertaining.
In about five minutes past Chamitla, you're going to be entering the town of El Centenario, which is where I live. There are a lot of expats that live in El Centenario, either down on the beach or back up in the hills, uh, and there is a big area in the middle. Along the highway, there are a number of shops and restaurants from you know nicer places, they're for like kind of gringo-oriented places, down to just simple food carts that only operate in the evening. There is a, a little town center where you'll find people on, on Saturday night playing soccer and there's a little square and a police station and whatnot. So very like typical Mexican small town. And then if you go another five minutes past that, you're going to hit Comitan, which is another little beach community. Not much in the way of retail, but it is kind of the last place that gringos typically live on this side of La Paz. And part of what makes El Centenario so great is the view of downtown. So I'm pulling off the highway here so that I can get to a point where I can kind of turn my car the direction of downtown. So the sun rises over those hills past downtown and the lights uh, at night are beautiful. You can see those from the beach and you can also see those from up in the hills where a lot of the other gringos live. So I have made it back home, but there are two places that I really wanted to take you today that I didn't make it to. Um, and so let's, let's uh, kind of rely on Google to help tell this story. So the first is the kind of northeast side of La Paz, and it's mostly residential areas uh, up in the hills with good views, kind of some of the resorts, the high-end stuff, the, the multi-million dollar houses. That is all over there, and it's not an area that I know that much about, but it is an area where a lot of gringos tend to live, so I wanted to mention it. The other area I want to talk about is, I guess it's just kind of Forjadores, which is a road that's leading out of town, and it goes by the hospital, uh, which is important for some folks. It also goes by a kind of a mall, I guess, with, uh, I think it's a Soriana, and there's a city club there, which is like a Sam's Club, but uh, I think it's a Mexican um, Mexican company. Um, let's see here. So off, also like an office max or something to that effect. So a number of uh, big shopping centers, a cinema out there. And then if you continue down that road, you will end up driving all the way to Todos Santos or to Cabo for in one hour or two hours. But right now, I'm home and my little foster puppies are, well, I guess I was about to say ready to play, but I guess they're ready to pee. If you have any questions about La Paz, please leave those down in the comments below. And I'm gonna put some other videos on the screen here that I think you might be interested in watching next. Hasta luego. Come here, let's go.